Hi guys, this is Robin Good indeed. Uh, more questions coming in my email inbox from you asking about more stuff on video web publishing and everything it takes to become an effective uh, online publisher. This time you write me or I've selected among your very many, many, many questions. Uh, how do I keep myself updated on the topics I'm interested the most? Great question indeed. I mean, today this is one of the challenges for anyone out there on the information frontier. How do you keep yourself updated? I mean, there is no lack of information sources out there. The problem is how do you manage all that information without going crazy of being overwhelmed by this tsunami of news coming at you every minute? So most of you already have identified some websites, uh, some uh, sources that are ideal for providing the news you're looking for. So the best next step you can do after that is to subscribe to the RSS feed of those sites and collect all of those feeds inside an RSS reader. What does that all mean? It's very simple. You will notice if you pay attention that most websites now have somewhere written in their navigation information on the side on the top right or at the bottom RSS feed. You can also see often a little icon that is a rectangle, an orange rectangle with some waves inside. Looks like kind of a speaker sending sounds waves out. Well, that orange button stands for the URL, the address of the feed of that site. If you can copy by right clicking or control clicking, if you're on a Mac, that logo, you will get a URL that is behind that logo. Even if you click it, you go to a page where you see a lot of code, well, grab the URL above. Don't worry about the code you see. Get the URL above and put it inside your RSS reader. One of those would be, for example, Google Reader is free to use. You add your RSS feeds inside of it and you start reading in one place all of the many different sites that you're interested in. But maybe I'm getting out of your specific question. How do I get myself updated? Well, I do all of that, but I do also something more. I feel that when I am looking at the news, I can do something valuable also for the others at the same time. Because anytime I look at the news, there are some news that are very relevant for me. And since I've decided to help out, to communicate, to create a community of people that wants basically to do exactly what I'm doing every day, that is finding out how to become a more effective online communicator, publisher, entrepreneur, well, I just share with my own readers the contents and the news that I think are most valuable. I call this activity news mastering. So by selecting as many sources I think are relevant, I have about 110 of these. And every day reading all of these sources and selecting out of them which are the most interesting for me and sharing them on my breaking news on my home page the most valuable ones allows me to do two great things. One, keep myself very updated on what is happening. Two, share absolutely for f free with my readers the very best news that I think they should be reading if they want to be as updated as I am. So then when you add your team and your newsroom doing this uh, together with you and you learning from them and you and them learning from you, that becomes a tremendously valuable approach to keeping yourself updated while creating valuable content for others. I hope that answers your question. Look forward to more questions. Send them in at robin.good at masternewmedia.org. Ciao.